we intend to win California. I want to start today with a wild new statement from independent candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr., candidate for the presidency of what is his mathematical path to becoming president of the United States. Many of you already know that there is no such path, but at least theoretically, what is his path? And I want you to really think about the unserious nature of what we're going to start with today. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. appeared on television and explained, even though he's not even on the ballot in California yet. OK, it's April. He's not even on the ballot in California. He believes he's going to win California outright as well as it's a, a full slate of electoral votes. I believe it's 55. And this is going to serve. This is a joke, but this is going to serve to illuminate that the best case scenario for RFK having an impact is that he helps Donald Trump become president of the United States. The worst case, it's just a total humiliation and he accomplishes nothing. He's not going to win a single state. Best case and really best if you're him, I guess, and you want to have some kind of importance, but it's really the worst case for the country. He helps elect Donald Trump. So listen to this. Really listen carefully to what he's saying. And then we're going to look at some of the numbers. Assume you're confident that you will end up on the California ballot. Right now, you're not on the California ballot. I also assume uh, you will need all of the state's 55 electoral votes in order to win the presidency. Uh, um, I could, yeah, mathematically, I could do that. But we intend to win California. But we're, you know, we're doing something a little different. In California. Remember, we intend to win California. California. Um, we are there are six states where we've started our own party, because as it turns out, if you do that, you need fewer signatures. So <laughs> if we do it the regular way, we need two hundred and forty five thousand signatures. But by starting our own party, which is we the people party, we only need seventy five thousand people to switch their registration from Democrat to we the people or Republican to we the people. But I think we have about fifteen thousand now. And we have till I think the end of May to get them. So we're very confident that we'll get on here. We're not on the ballot. We're doing different things in different places. In some states, I'm part of a party. In some states, I'm completely independent. I don't remember the exact vote, uh, uh, a signature thresholds, voter signature thresholds. But our path is that I'm going to be the next president of the United States. Now, I am for involving third parties. I think we need campaign finance reform. I think we need to set limits on the, dur the duration of the election. I want a single transferable voter ranked choice voting system that's going to make it so that you can vote third parties confidently without worrying that you're actually going to help the worst can. I want all of those things. It's April of 2024. It's going to be Biden or Trump and Robert F. Kennedy is helping Trump. That's it, it's just like that. Now, just to, to be thorough here in terms of how outrageous this is, let's start with California. Um, we have polling from California. Biden is winning California by as much as 19, even with RFK in the poll. Like, for example, if we take it, take a look at this Emerson poll. This is the most recent Emerson poll that we have. It's Biden 51, Trump 32, Kennedy six. Kennedy, as he has explained, needs 34 to win. You can have a scenario where it's Kennedy 34, Biden 33. Trump 33. That's he's explained that that's the lowest threshold with which he could win. So in order to get from six to thirty four, because remember, Biden's already got fifty one in California. That's where he's polling. Trump's at thirty two in California. Kennedy six for Kennedy to go from six to thirty four. He needs to take twenty three points from Joe Biden. That's almost half of Biden's support. How can a single person in the audience explain to me or please explain to me how RFK isn't even on the ballot? It's already April. He's not even on the ballot and he's going to win California by taking almost half of the current Joe Biden supporters. It's just demented. It doesn't make any sense. He's only on the ballot in Utah. He reportedly has the signatures to qualify in Nevada, Hawaii and New Hampshire. So let's just take New Hampshire, for example, like just to be a little more reasonable. If he does have the votes to get on, this is now New Hampshire polling. If RFK really does have the votes to get on the ballot in New Hampshire right now in, a, in the recent Marist College poll that has Kennedy, it's Biden 44, Trump 41, Kennedy 12. So this is like a little more reasonable. California is just it's impossible. This is a little more reasonable under RFK's explanation. 
he needs to get to 34. He's at 12. He needs to get to 34. That means he needs to pick up 22 points. So he could take 11 points from Biden and 11 points from Trump to get to 34. It's very difficult to he, to imagine he would he would even do that. But at least there is a path, right? He still needs to take a quarter of Joe Biden's support and almost a third of Trump's support. And this is a state where it's less insane. The California story is just totally delusional. So my prediction is RFK doesn't win a single state, but he might just take enough of the Biden vote to flip a couple of states to Trump and make Trump the next president of the United States. If you're comfortable writing him in or whatever and toying with that possibility, then you have a different moral and ethical code than I have. And that I mean, people have different moral and ethical codes. I can't knowingly take any action, any action that makes it more likely Trump gets four more years. So I'm voting for Joe Biden, not perfect, but a very solid presidency with a very solid economy and dozens of important accomplishments. That's what I'm doing. If your moral code is different, your ethical code is different. You may make a different choice. If you're a foodie, you know how expensive and time consuming it can be to explore your local food scene and find new things. And this is why I love our sponsor, Cook Unity. Unlike other meal subscriptions, Cook Unity is the first ever collective of award winning chefs delivering locally sourced culinary marvels to your door every week. Every meal is handcrafted by chefs. It's made in local micro kitchens, not those large production facilities. And the real kicker is that it's actually more affordable than many other meal subscriptions. There's no cooking. The food is ready to go. The food arrives fresh, never frozen. I absolutely loved trying out the recent chili roasted shrimp. I've tried a half dozen or so different meal subscriptions over the years. And what sets Cook Unity apart really is just the quality of the dishes. It's clear that each recipe was developed by a professional chef. These are not those monotonous, boring meals you get from some other services. And for me, another one of the big downsides to the other services is so much packaging garbage that they generate, which is why I love that all of Cook Unity's packaging is either compostable or recyclable. Go to cookunity.com slash Pacman and use the code Pacman before checkout for 50 percent off your first week. The link is down below.